Hello, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church devotional series for Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. Uh, <clears throat> to all my fellow Texans, happy Independence Day. In 1836, Texas declared its independence, and well, the rest is history. Um, if you're from Texas, you uh, probably have a deep love and admiration for your state, the things that it represents. Um, as Brother James would say, it, it has everything that you can want in an area or land. It has farmland, it has the desert, it has the coast, it has hills and valleys, lakes and rivers, it, ha it has mountains. Yes, Texas has mountains. <laughs> And uh, it's a really big place. <laughs> um, and most Texans even love the shape of their state. So uh, again, to my fellow Texans, happy Independence Day. Um, with that being said, there's a certain independence that we have when we're saved. Uh, if you will, it's been a deliverance. Uh, being, in, being able to be free from sin. But there's those days where you just have a bad day. You have circumstances, whether it affects you or affects one of your loved ones. Um, maybe it affects a, a part of the world that you're concerned about. Uh, affects your country, affects your state. Um, you have a bad day and then you realize your reliance on God, not that he saved you eternally, but your daily deliverance, your daily independence from the evil one. See, that for sure, if you're saved and you know that you're saved, well, there's one person that knows, and obviously God knows. There's another person, for sure, without a doubt, that knows it's not your loved ones, um, it's not your best friends, it's not your pastor, it's the devil. And if he can't have you in hell, he may try to throw some of that towards you. Um, and you may experience a bad day. And that's when we re remember that we have a God that so loved us that he bankrupt heaven for us, even if we were the only ones ever to live. That we were the only ones to walk this earth. He left the glories of heaven because he loved us that much. So, with that being said, a familiar but short hymn that always comes to mind when I'm really in need of God. I think of, I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. In Psalms, chapter 40, verse 17, reads, I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. You ever, ever really think about that? Yes. <clears throat> he demonstrated his love on us. He bankrupt heaven for us, for you. And he thinks about you because he cherishes you and loves you and wants to promote the everlasting relationship that he started with you when you were saved, promote that through the rest of your existence. He thinks about you. That art my help and my deliverer. Aren't you glad that God who is capable of possibilities, of any possibility, is your deliverer? Oh, my God, <clears throat> is how the psalm ends, but it's not quite ends when it says, my deliverer, make no tarry. In other words, Lord, don't be short, don't be far away, but who keeps us away more times than not? It's usually us, we get in the way. Sometimes we can't even get out of our own way. If you're anything like me, um, I'll think I'll be going all right. I'll be maybe thinking that I'm right or whatever the case is. And then something will just stick in my uh, crawl, so to speak. And uh, I'll just get out of sorts. I won't be thinking straight. 
I won't be uh, looking to glorify God to help others. You know, um, and that leads to uh, the pathway of darkness, a pathway of selfishness, of greed. Um, nothing good comes from it at all. And emptiness is what you have and you're constantly looking for the next thing to satisfy that emptiness when it's only God that fulfills. Remember, <clears throat> most gracious Lord, no tender voice like thine can peace afford. The next stanza says, I need thee every hour. Stay thou nearby. Temptations lose their power when thou art not. If you have your Bibles in some point, or you can come back to it, if you get to uh, Psalm 70, Psalm 70 verse five reads, I am poor and needy, make haste unto me. O God, thou art my help, my deliverer. O oh Lord, make no tarry. <clears throat> Temptations, those things that wart our flesh, so to speak, they lose their power when we're obedient and we stay obedient and we stay in that tight relationship with the Lord, the relationship that we are meant to be. See, Adam, Adam or us even, if we're, we're in Adam's shoes, we forfeited our dominion of the earth when we bowed down and self-worshipped, if you will, uh, we listened to the, to, the, to the serpent and chose to go against God rather than, rather than to be obedient and stay in perfect fellowship with him. You ever think about that? You, you and I, from Adam till Eve until now, we're supposed to have dominion over the earth. We're supposed to. We're supposed to subdue the earth. As God's formed, shapen, image bearer. But we felt in temptation. But with God and with a right, right, <laughs> right relationship with him, temptations lose their power. When thou art not. <clears throat> the next stanza of the hymn, I Need Thee Every Hour, verse 3. I need thee every hour in joy or in pain. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, I try to find myself thanking God for the greatness and the happiness and the laughter that I get to experience. But he's for sure on the quick call list when we're hurting. Isn't that right? Isn't that true? Grade your paper. Why wouldn't you go to the one, the great physician? Come quickly and abide or life is vain. Boy, man, speaks volumes. Life is empty without God because there is no life. Life is through God. He's the life giver and life sustainer. Psalms 86, verse 1. Bow down thine ear, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. If you've been around any time at all, you know that's true. You know that's truer than, than, than that you need air to breathe, you need food to eat, to to. to Keep your body from being hungry. You need water to drink to stay hydrated. There's things that you need, but you need him above all things. Because without him, there's, there's no life. It's just trying to seek the next best thing until you die to go to a devil's hell. Not very motivating, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. But with God, all things are possible. <clears throat> Which leads me to, 
and you are keeping it up with your Proverbs, right? Little advertisement there. There's a proverb for every day of the week. Stay on your Proverbs. I need thee every hour. Teach me thy will and thy rich promises in me fulfill. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. And Proverbs chapter two, you will come across this if you haven't already. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifteth up thy voice for understanding, if thou wilt seekest her as silver and searchest for her as hid treasure, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, his word, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walketh upright. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then thou shalt understand righteousness and judgment and equity in every good path. Teach me thy will and thy rich promises and me fulfilled. Boy, don't you want God to be fulfilled in your life? Don't you want God to say, I can trust you with the things that I've given you and you've been profitable unto me and my kingdom. I want that. I want to hear that. I want to hear well done. There's often times in my, in my life where I'm just like, I, I can't stand myself very much, let alone probably somebody else can't stand me. And I reflect back that I need him because I don't think that I'm very good at all. I'm a wretch. I am a sinful man that is selfish. And I think that if, if most people really took a close examination of themselves, they would see some of that in their own lives. So we do need him. We need to be taught in his way, to be taught in his will, and then obey. See, there's a sweetness, and there's a security, and there's a blessedness when we obey God. There's, there, and, 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 and then he can bless us. And he can uh, give out of his treasures the wealth of heaven. So, as a person of value, a person that knows the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal savior, and you know that you know that you know that if today you drew your last breath on earth in this part of existence, you would wake up in the hands of Jesus. Then as that person of value that's accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, then be of value to those that you have influence with, to those that you love and care for, those that you befriend, and even your enemies, pray for them so that they see a difference in you and give you the opportunity to speak Christ to them. Always know that God loves you, the church loves you, I love you too. So until we meet again, may the Lord of heaven richly bless you this day.